take your favorite fandoms and teleport them into the world of D&D. In this series, we discuss D&D classes and where your favorite characters fit in. I'm Frey. I'm Shadu. This week, we are tackling Star Wars The Bad Batch, specifically the main characters as of the end of Season 2. Possible spoilers ahead. Let's get into it. Let's do. So... so. Uh, how, like, I mean, did you have a, a hard time with this, with any of them specifically? Like, were there, there, there were that... some where I went between a few. Mm-hmm. Um, and somewhere I'm like, these are so different from anything fantasy. I mean, I know right. Star Wars is fantasy, but yeah. it's so different from anything that's like traditional fantasy. I'm like, I'm not sure what there is. Cause it's like, you know, you're trying to figure out, oh, this person's a warlock, but there's not really anything we can deal with. So right. what does like, that mean? You know, and there's, <laughs> there's magic, but it's How not really like... How do you translate really like, the magic from... Right. Like what, what is magic in this case? So, yeah, absolutely. you know, cause you have the force, mm-hmm. but I mean... You don't really in Bad Batch, you know. I mean, you do. No. You have Gunji and whatnot. But There's like, some interesting things that happen in Bad Batch. Yeah. But yeah, I mean. It's not like. For the main characters, I would none say. None of them are force sensitive. No. Well, okay. I, I shouldn't say force sensitive. None of them are Jedi or Sith yeah. or yeah. Bindu or whatever. I mean, they had, like, there was the, when they found the, the Wookiee. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm talking about Gunji. Yeah. yeah Gunji, so, like, they've yeah. had Jedi before. But, but it's not, like, the core people. So. No, it's not the yeah, core people. Absolutely. So, I went with mostly tech is kind of like magic. Me too. Um, That's the way, way, way that I went. So, I'm glad that we kind so, of did that on yeah, our own. Yeah, we kind of converged on figured that. Figured out. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So. All right. So, who did we decide on? Let's go ahead and go down yes. that so everybody so, can kind of know who yeah. we So, we on. did Nala say. I'll say that's she's the Kaminoan doctor. Kaminoan. Kaminoan. I apologize to the Kaminoans out Kaminoan there. Kaminoan scientist who I believe was the. I don't know if she was the leader of the clone program. But she, she was the very, one that had the like very the little, involved. The crystal. Yeah, the little thing crystal she, thing that Omega that or Omega. That Omega has, Omega has, and then she has the same one. Yeah. So she was basically Omega's caretaker. So right. That's why exactly. we chose her. Yep. Okay. Then we have Rampart, Admiral Rampart. Admiral Rampart, because you always got to have a villain in this episode. Got to have a villain. We, we have a couple D&D of them. is not a good thing without a villain. <laughs> All right. Then we got Crosshair. You should know him. Sniper. That's his whole deal, mm-hmm. essentially. We got Echo. Did I not do Echo. Cross? Yeah. I thought I had a crosshair. We're going to do this Rant. live and on the spot. This is called history. human error. It is called human error. Then we have Tech, who's self-explanatory. <laughs> Wrecker, also self-explanatory. Hunter, who's the leader of the group, also self-explanatory. Omega, we've already covered her. Sid was their kind of employer for a while. There were mercenaries mm-hmm. under her. And then... Fee! Horrible things happen. And then Fee, you know Fee, Fee. Wonderful, beautiful Wanda Sight. And of course, we have Dr. Headlock. Yes, who's who is also the Hedlock. main villain of yeah. season two. He would be like the big bad. Yeah, he's like the big overall kind of in the shadows bad guy. All right. All right, so I guess we'll get into it. So Let's get into it. So We're first going to start with Nalise. Is that how you say her name? Nalise. Nalise. I two am words. going to Nala pronounce say. I'm, I'm going to pronounce things for you. <laughs> It's just gonna. Happen. I'm here. This is why I'm here. Yes, yes. This is why one I'm of the here. reasons. That's it. That's <laughs> I'm it. the resident D and D guru. He is. He is our D and D guru. <laughs> I am a D and D. I guess for this case, Padawan. <laughs> You're a D and D uh, Jedi master, and I'm a D and D. I am the Grand Master of. Oh. <laughs> I am those the Dark Lord of. Fear me. Uh, uh, Kneel, yeah, kneel, kneel to Shadu. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we've done enough craziness. All right, All right let's, let's do, do this. this. So, we're going to start with Nala Say. You want to go first? Sure. All right. So, with Nala Say, I picked Wizard. Because I took, your, I mean, I think we both were on the same track because mm-hmm. I, you know, that scientist is really, and we've, we've said this before, sci- uh, magic is science we don't understand, right? It's the famous Arthur C. Clarke quote. Uh, which is any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. There we go. There you go. And trust me, there's some magic. There's the magic. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, so I said that sh- that she was a wizard because she oversaw the creation of the clones, which is 
a manipulative kind of science and magic. So like she was uh, using uh, spells, so to speak, to make this all happen. And so that's why I went with wizard instead of like, she didn't make a pact with a god or anything. She didn't, or a demon. She didn't, you know, it's not inherent in her really. It's because of other objects or, or, or other things. So she needs like that. So that's right. why I And she wizard. learned this. Yes, learned she skill. learned it. Yeah, it's a learned Rather skill. Rather than... Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I went a different direction. I went with a knowledge cleric. Oh, okay. Now, the reason I went with cleric is more because of her kind of devotion to it. Mm. Um, oh, like science is her religion. Science is her religion. That's kind of what I went with, and her devotion to kind of her people and all of that. And at the same time, she's very much, I agree with the whole knowledge thing and she learned it, but she's about knowledge at any cost. And that's the big thing that really was like, well, she's not necessarily a paladin. Clerics don't necessarily have to be good. Mm -hmm. But she's got a whole knowledge at any cost, and that is very much knowledge cleric kind of thing. And then, obviously, cleric is very, very devoted to her kind of society and civilization and all that. Yeah. So I think yours is might actually be a little bit closer. Well, I just but, went with I mean, like, we'll the have, mechanics um, of magic versus the mechanics. I should of mention science. we're going to make a master list at the end of this. Yeah, episode. we'll we'll so come to we'll, we'll come to a yeah we'll a come consensus. a consensus here. Uh, yeah. So all right. So that's not all I'll say. Let's move on to the evil admiral rampart. Yes. Yes. We'll do evil admiral rampart. Okay. Right. So I did this. Now remember, mm -hmm. I am the D and D Padawan. Yeah, I did like a whole. I did a lot of research on this, and specifically, like, subclasses and stuff, so I'm going way beyond I'm for the people that is... might be new to D&D. &D right, right. We have... Or looking yep. at this going, what the heck are it's these like, people saying? It's like this paranormal show. You've got the skeptic, and you got the believer. I hate that I'm the believer. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, for Admiral Rampart, now this, this is going to shock, because I think you're going to tell me that I can't choose this for him. <laughs> But I don't care, because I do what I want. <laughs> chaotic good. Chaotic good. Okay. Not chaotic goo. Chaotic goo. It looks like chaotic goo. Yeah. Chaotic good. Go. All right. So I picked Paladin. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. I picked what? Paladin. So here's, the, here's what I was thinking. If a Paladin can be loyal to a god, that doesn't mean it has to be a righteous god that's all like good it could be evil and so and i feel like some people are so loyal to the emperor that they feel he's a god and so because he follows the emperor as a god he would be one of the emperor's paladins Uh, yeah, that's it's, great. Because you know, I mean, so, he doesn't think he's the the villain. I mean, you think about this. If, right. If you, to to be a good villain, you got to think you're the hero, and he feels that he's doing the right thing, and he's on the side of good. On like the right, he's on a righteous side. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, he's. I also said he could be a techno wizard, but just from like previous. Uh, right. The yeah, Nasala. The Nasala happens here. Nala say. Nala say. All right. Maybe I should change that on the what? character thing so that it. Anyway, that is a really, really interesting idea because, I mean, I've thought about you know the oath of devotion being very. You're usually devoted to a good god, but in this case, it could be an evil something that's not exactly the best. I mean, lawful evil. That's a lawful thing. evil exists. No, so exactly. I wouldn't say and. And, you know, going off the whole villains think they're the hero of their story. Right. The exactly. Bats, yeah. I mean, they just... That's very much. Yeah. yeah. No, so very I, much. That's why I was like, Paladin. I was like, ooh, shot in the dark here. That was my one that I was that's like, that's I don't know if this is going to work or not. So I definitely want to... I, I really like it, though. It's a thing. really interesting choice. <laughs> because I forgot about Crosshair. I don't have a lot on it. <laughs> I went a different direction. Mm -hmm. I went with a Inquisitor Rogue. Um, okay. And the thing with... You know, that sounds very Star Wars. Yeah. The thing with rogues um, is, you know, there's different there's different types, obviously, and there's different ways you can play them, but generally they're going to be very secretive, very stealthy. Mm -hmm. He was very much in that kind of political intrigue 
kind of side of the show. And with, you know, with the Empire and all of what, what they're doing and the horrible things they're doing to the clones and all of that, I really think he's more of like a kind of political intrigue kind of character. So I went with an Inquisitor Rogue because that's kind of their deal is they're all about finding secrets and finding oh, okay. all of these different things like that. So that was really kind of what I was going for. He's very scheming and secretive and things like that. And then he had to play all of his cards out and it backfired on him. So that seems like also a very rogue thing. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, yeah, I could see yeah. that too. I mean, he's not, and he's also not that powerful. I guess I'm right. Not, I guess I went more with the ideology of a paladin. No, and the ideology and, uh, is very much there too. I think yeah. we've captured two different aspects of the character. Definitely. Sounds like this one might be a. Uh, what are we gonna do at the end? This is gonna be fun. Because I feel like you know, most of this, like I said, wizard, and you said knowledge cleric, which I feel like right. are very they're very similar. They're both mages. Yeah, it, you know? it's both like very similar. Right. So they're I both think, arcane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the same kind of thing. So okay, so yeah. let's let's right. go ahead and go to yep. <laughs> crosshair. Crosshair. All right. You want to go first? Sure, I'll go first. So with crosshair, I also went with a rogue, but a scout rogue this time. Um, scout rogues are kind of a mix between rangers and rogues almost. Yeah, they don't have magic. They're much more like kind of a stealth archer kind of thing, where they're going to be an assassin, essentially an assassin or somebody who's just kind of out there in the world, going around and is very stealthy and secretive and kind of a deadly shot but crosshair at the same time he's pretty good at survival too he's got that kind of survival yeah just kind of survival instincts and obviously he's a clone he's a soldier he's got all that into help he's more the like he's gonna go out lightly armored with his you know rifle or whatever and see what's out there before everybody else and you know pick off people so yeah that was my thing what about you yeah, so I picked Ranger. Hmm. Granted, I just did it on the show. Live and in person. <laughs> the witnessing history the right here. Right here. No. Uh, I picked Ranger because Rangers, to me, Rangers are more dexterous. Oh, yeah. More, yeah. you know, dexterity. Yeah, definitely. And so, and he's more into the, like, ambush, like, getting people from far yeah. away. And, I mean, he was the sniper of the group. And, right. And, like, even That's kind of why now, I went scout, he's, yeah. too. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Scout and that, too. But, uh, so that's why I picked Ranger. And, I, I mean, I said on here, sniper, baby. So, yeah. So, basically, long range ambush. I mean, he's yeah. going to be that person. So, that's right, why I picked exactly. that. Right, exactly. So. Okay. No, that's really... That's really good. I'm starting to reevaluate my choice on Crosshair because I realized <laughs> that there was an assassin rogue subclass, and I'm thinking that he may have been that. Ranger also really works. The only reason I wasn't thinking Ranger is because I don't see him being very like nature focused. Yeah, that's true. But, but see, I don't know. see hardly any of them being nature focused. No, me they either. haven't really been around nature. Not really. It's they're mostly in ships, like before yeah. they become themselves. I mean, at mm-hmm. the end of season two, they kind of get into. Thing, right, but. but anyway. All right, so let's move on okay. to Echo. I thought we were going to Tech. Did I forget Echo, too? Gosh. Did you forget it. Echo? Well, I'm going to go, I guess, while me, we yeah. make up for lost time over here. Um, I so, Echo. for Echo, I went with a Clockwork Soul Sorcerer. Um, now, the reason I was basically tossing around whether I wanted him to be a Sorcerer or a Warlock. And the reason I didn't go Warlock is because he didn't willingly enter into a pact. Because, again, as I said, magic is basically that. Tight. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. I was thinking, oh, maybe he kind of entered into a pact with the Separatists because now he, he has all these augments and things where he's much more able to do all these different things. But he didn't necessarily want his magic. He right. didn't necessarily want it. He was kind of, he wasn't necessarily born with it like a sorcerer would be, but he didn't want it either. He didn't go seek out, hey, I want knowledge of this, and then modify himself, you know, put a... cut off his arm, put a different one in there or something. He didn't want that. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking a sorcerer really is like, well, they didn't want that, because they were just born with it. They didn't really want their magic. Maybe it's me. And Clockwork Soul is... (laughs) the whole lore there is that basically it's a sorcerer who got their power from the plane of Mechanus, which is basically steampunk it's the steampunk plane where everything's mechanical and it's gears and things like that so i was thinking he's got tech you know just kind of implanted in him or whatever 
and he's a sorcerer because he did not want his powers at all. He just had them, had to deal with them. So that's why I picked Clockwork Soul Sorcerer. Plus, Clockwork Soul Sorcerers are really cool. <laughs> so, and I've never played one, and now I really want to. Okay. That's going over there, Mate. It's, I mean, it, you know, it's fun. <laughs> no, because I actually, I mean, I had an idea. I think I just forgot to put it down. Okay, that's um, right. Because, no, I was thinking Sorcerer. That's oh, what I was thinking. Green. Yeah, I was thinking Sorcerer. Because remember, I was telling you, like, the whole magic and, and, and technology. But, yeah. Yeah, my yeah, thing yeah. was is that he, that, you're right, he didn't pick it himself. Mm -hmm. So I put Sorcerer who was created by others. So, like, he's almost a golem. The, he's almost kind of a golem, yeah. which is why we're Clockwork Soul too. Yeah, so like the and that's like the yeah. same thing. Like he was created by others, so he didn't make any of these choices, but he benefited from them. He did benefit, so, right? You know, it's that kind of. That but it's kind of one thing, of those so. journeys where you see a lot of sorcerer characters will go on a journey where they're like, "I didn't want this magic. Now I have to use right. it. Now I have to deal with it." And then they embrace it at some point. Yeah. Like, I mean, I have he this. definitely had the hero's journey. Very much so, and it was really yeah, because he yeah. had all that adversity. Him yeah. fives. Fives. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Anyway, he's not a bad batch. We're not talking about no, him. Right no, 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 no. We're not talking about him. All right. All we're right. moving on to Tech. All right. Do you want me to go first? You did two, and I'll yeah. do two. Okay. Go for it. All right. So, Tech. Yes. Artificer. Or ar artificer? I say artificer. Artificer. But I'm not However sure. However you say it. Artificer. Yeah. Artificer. Artificer. Um, it, it's like this class was made for Tech. Oh, God. Yeah. Because Definitely. it's like he knows the magic of technology. Mm -hmm. He knows how to make it sing. He knows what it, like, he automatically knows the, like, its limits and what it can and can't do and how he can bypass those limits and make it do what he wants it yeah. to do. So, it's yeah. very much, yeah. I just, I mean, I was like, as soon as I was, like, looking through him, I was like, nope, this is him right there. Our, our he was the first yeah. one I even, like, I got. I was just like, nope. Yep, um, our there yeah. you go. I agree. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I was because I, yeah, I also have a tripster down. I specifically went with the battlesmith mm -hmm. as the class, uh, or as the subclass, because mm -hmm. that's a battlesmith is essentially in the heat of battle. They can make shit, and there you go. That's what their a, whole do, thing. Do we want to do this like when we get it together? Wonder twins. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, You've been classified. <laughs> classified. <laughs> We'll See. figure it out. <laughs> Who knows? If you guys have any ideas, let us know. Yeah. So, so yeah, and that was whole battle. Yeah, good technology and making things very intelligent. Mm -hmm. That scene from the beginning of season two where they're on, is it, is it called Serrano? It's Dooku's home world. Oh, yeah. Whatever, it's not whatever Serrano, that planet I can't is. remember what planet maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it's Serrano. Sorocco? Do you want to look? I, I don't know. <laughs> you can't if you want to. But um, wh whatever that planet is where they see the guy who was staying there, he's got a house and whatever, and Tech has to fix that whole thing, right? Oh, yeah. That was like, that's an artificer thing. That is an artificer thing. I mean, like, that came into my head. Anyway, all right, I think we can move on. So we agree. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Uh, Sereno. Sereno. Oh, Sereno. I was saying Serrano. So. Sereno. Sereno. Nice. So, yeah. Sereno is the planet. There you go. <laughs> Alright, moving on to... Wrecker. Wrecker. Alright, Wrecker. I, I feel like this one's kind of a no-brainer. Barbarian. I mean, I mean, and I just said, he carries heavy things and hits things. He like, bonks things. That's the only... That's like it. I mean, that's what he does. And you know what else he does? He plays with Omega. They yep. play. And yep. I feel like a barbarian would do that too. He's very literal it's very yep. this is it's very much this is this is the situation let's do this yep. no nonsense here we go so yeah i think that that's what i would do i agree it's barbarian. it's the stereotype the kind of or i guess archetype of the character who's big tough but with a heart of gold kind of thing oh yeah absolutely. um and i really like that character type too i reckon my favorite character so <laughs> i do like Rex. he's he's pretty awesome i also went barbarian surprising no one I went Battle Rager Barbarian. That sounds pretty, that would sound yeah. good. Yeah, so kind of channels this rage into this forcefulness and loves violence and loves weapons and all this, you know, like, oh, I'm going to hit things and, and whatnot. It's very, very Barbarian. Battle Ragers in D&D, &D, in the Forgotten Realms, they have to specifically be 
dwarves that were trained in kind of the certain way of this. It's more of like a an order. Uh, but in other worlds, it can just be like random people. So I went Battle Rager because that's kind of his whole thing. He's raging. He's a barbarian. Awesome. So I completely agree with uh, barbarian. All right. Double. We got doubles. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> so next is you're up. Oh, all right. Hunter. Hunter. This is also a no <laughs> Like he's a ranger. He is a he is the stereotype of a ranger. He's also a hunter ranger. There is a subclass called hunter ranger. What do you think he is? But anyway, the re the reason he's a ranger, he typically uses ranged weapons. He's an expert tracker. Um, I, he's kind of in tune with nature. Like, when he gets to a point with nature, he's in tune with it, essentially. He's able to find, and, you know, again, expert tracker. The first, very first episode, he was able to go out and find Caleb Doom and all that. So, same kind of thing. So, yeah, Ranger. Caleb Doom. Caleb Doom. Rest in peace, baby. Yep. Rest in peace in that local. <laughs> okay. Go. Uh, <laughs> wait, does that mean he was a ward for whole? Never mind. Anyway, different, totally different thing. Different, different. Right. Not this, not this show. All right. So yeah, Hunter, uh, <laughs> I said Ranger. It's in his name. He tracks and no strategy. Strategy is good too, because yeah, because Rangers are typically going to be people you want in your army. Yeah. Because you have your not just they're because the they're scouts. They're the ones that tell people to go right. places. They're but like, they can no, look you go there at a map and be like, all right, there's trees here. There's this. This is a good ambush spot. This is da 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 da. -da. Same kind of thing. So he's a quintessential ranger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. And then we have Omega. Omega. Yeah, Omega. Uh, so, Omega. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to keep up that accent. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was tempted. <laughs> well, uh, also a hunter ranger. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I did not get that at all. Same thing. Um... Very, very similar to Hunter. I was, I wanted to go with Ranger, more so because she literally has a bow, but also, I couldn't find another Ranger subclass that actually made sense for her, because she is still a Hunter, she's still a Tracker, because she was more taught by Hunter kind of in his ways. That's true. I was, I was tossing between, like, Ranger and Rogue, but she's not, like, she's stealthy, but she's not, like, kind of... She gets, in too much trouble she gets in too much trouble to be for a not being stealthy. Right, to, so I went know. with Ranger just because that's more, seems more like her. Again, she's more stealthy and a more deadly shot, too. So I did not go for anything like that. Because, <laughs> funny. Alright, I said that um, she was either a druid Ooh. or a fighter. So I said she masters everything she's been taught, but she's also really in tune with people and nature. So like she can feel like other people's emotions. She's very empath, like empath empathetic, empathic. Yeah. I always say empathetic, and it's not empathetic, empathic. Uh, and uh, and but she like you know when they had Ganji, Gan Gan Ganji. Ganji. It's really close to saying Ganges. I'm just saying that and. All right, anyway, uh, that... Did we look? Does he have a ram no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, but she, the, they were, you know, they were feeling nature, and she said she could feel something. Yeah, touching the trees together yeah, and whatever. Yeah, so she, you know, so yeah. she has this capacity to learn a lot of different things. Right. So, and fighters tend to be pretty versatile. They can There is a out. versatility there. Yeah, and but yeah. I also thought druids, because she does seem to have this natural way of learning things like she just yeah, has i definitely think the in tune with nature really works that's part of the reason i went ranger too yeah. i don't think she's a druid because i the quintessential thing about druids is they can wild shape they can turn into an animal i don't think she can do that yeah i mean that's why i, I mean, said druid or fighter because i was like i, I mean another thing but fighter. another point in druid is that she can kind of not really speak to animals but she has that kind of like well, she has an affinity to it. She has an affinity yeah, to yeah, it. Because, yeah. again, I'm thinking of the episode, I think, season one, where they're on that moon or whatever, and she actually is able to... Yeah. Talk, oh, yeah. Like, I mean, really and talk, that, like, was of... reminiscent of Ezra Bridger right. in Rebels, because he used to... He I mean, yeah, that's too, a force so... power. Yeah. But so... it's still... Which is what made everybody think maybe she was force. 
more sensitive. Which again, maybe she is. She we don't might know. Be. We don't know. I maybe, think maybe all clones we'll are. We don't know. Something. I mean, everybody's technically force sensitive. Yeah. In a way. I, I mean, mean, yeah. You know, everybody connects. It to surrounds the force. us. It penetrates us. It binds okay, us together. Thanks, Obi Wan. Yeah. Um, From a certain point of view. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so obviously we're not on the same page. We're not on the same page here. Omega. 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 All right. So next is Sid. Sid. I said Rogue. I said she only cares about herself and is willing to sell out anyone. And I feel like that is a Rogue thing. That's she a also very rogue thing. wants to send others into battle for her. Kind of. A, and kind of cowardly. Yeah, she's she definitely is not like she. She's not the one to make the sacrifice play, so she's... I, I went could, with Rogue. You could make an argument for Rogue's being cowardly. I mean, it depends on the perspective that you're taking. Is being an assassin, is being stealthy cowardly or not? That's a, that's a whole other debate. But it's I a, could definitely see her... It's a sneak-tastic way of doing things. <laughs> <laughs> sneak -tastic. So I also went Rogue. I went Mastermind Rogue. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Subclass is Mastermind. Yeah. I mean, I think that, I, um, you know, like, the, I got the, the part where she cares only about herself and she's willing to sell out, and then you went right. with that, like, the I went with the, she's strategy, her. she's got this overarching plan and all that. I basically said conniving and secretive. That's her kind of big, she's conniving, she's secretive, she really is just, you know, has an has a plan, and a plan B, and a plan C, and a plan whatever, and it's like, you cannot backstab me, because I will kill you. Kind of thing. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's very rogue. That's very and, like and leverage. Like and she leverage. Would, and yeah. rogues, rogues like leverage yeah. too. Like and too. there's a whole feature. Um, I don't know if it's of the rogue background or the criminal background that you usually take with rogue. Is a feature called I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically you have connections in the other world. Oh. Okay. And all of that. And I'm like, that is her. That is her. Yeah. That is her. She is an underworld person. She's got She's not an there. underworld person with a heart of gold. No, she is. She's she an is. Person, period. Yeah. She's like, so. that's the person you expect. So, yeah. I think Rogue is perfect. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Hey, so. yay. We both did Rogue. Woo! Woo! Um, <laughs> fee. Fee, fee. Fee. All right. So, Fee. I said she's a bard. Because she's a flirt. And she has a way of talking people into situations that they don't want to be in. Like, she has a way of, like, getting people to do stuff that she doesn't, that they absolutely do not want to do. Like, you gotta think, like, Hunter, how many times has Hunter been like, we don't have time to do this? And then they wind up doing <laughs> they it. They wind up doing it, right. So, it's like, uh, and Hunter's yeah. really, like, the leader of the group. So it's like, if he does, if he says, right. no, we're not doing it, then the rest of them are like, I guess we're not doing there it. Is, there is you some know. high charisma there. <laughs> yeah, so like, I definitely was like, that's who... That's... That's who she is. Barred. Yeah, um, totally barred. I, yeah, this was obvious. Yeah. Um, I did go barred, but again, I do. I did sunglasses. I did College of Lore. I think that, yeah, um, because that's kind of like, because she's got that two. archaeology type. Because yeah. she's charming, she's flirtatious, mm -hmm. and she loves ancient lore. She mm -hmm. likes, she has the whole archaeology thing going. She wants to go after ancient arcane secrets. There was a the whole episode where they literally were doing like an Indiana Jones movie. It was great. I'm still convinced that it was the Zepho. The Zepho. The Zepho. Yeah, I'm convinced it was the Zepho, but that's besides the point. I'm, we're going to go off on tangents if we're not careful. So, she's called the Floor Bar, Charming, Spacious, Loving, the Floor. You're awesome, one sex. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity now. Woo! All right. Yes. Uh, okay, and then the last one is Dr. Hemlock. Dr. Hemlock. So, I said he was a warlock. Uh, because he because, uses science. Because Locke is, 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 is yeah, yeah, that's that's why. Hemlock and Warlock. Hemlock, and that's actually <laughs> like a you know something they can use magic anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, go for it. He uses it. science like magic to the extent to manipulate and create ways to control society, and that's why I said he was a warlock instead of like a sorcerer or something like that because he's manipulating like primal forces. Because he's like the clone guy, so he's creating life, and he's using that uh, to, he tests it out, and he's using that so he can help control society, because what he does in there, he wants to use to help control society so that they bend to the emperor's will. Hmm. That's, okay, that's solid. I went a different direction. <laughs> uh, I also, I actually said, he is also a bard. 
However, he is a College of Whispers bard. Oh, that um, that sounds way cooler than Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> I like I love I, li- I love the idea though, but I really think it's he's got it's kind of a charisma because he's got this kind of where he's he's very soft spoken. Yeah. Like, like this, but he can convince people to do things. It's almost intimidation. It's intimidation, which and is that also is a charisma part of skill. Charisma, yeah. And so. that is why I went bard because he seems nice and charming, but he uses it to intimidate, and that's a very much a college of whispers, which is basically what it sounds like. It's the spy, essentially. You're a spy. You're a diplomat. You're whatever. You're collecting people's secrets and you're blackmailing them. Yeah. And you're doing things like that. He would totally do that, and he <laughs> has done that. But I also think he's a bard because he's got this charm. He's got this intimidation to him. And I really think that is the core of the character in a way. I, but I really do like Warlock, too. That's, <laughs> a, that's like an interesting idea. Yeah. So, no, I, I really well, I like it. I think we both went magic-wise. Like, you know, because yeah. you went bard. You just went bard for the I went bard. And yeah, I definitely see the magic side of it. Yeah. Definitely see that. So, I don't know if he can play an instrument. I'm pretty sure Fee probably can. Oh, yeah. I mean, we never saw it, but there's no I'm way she sure can. I'm sure she can. Probably some weird ancient flute <laughs> or something. Yeah, I was going to say, know, somewhere some sort of ancient recorder. Right. She's part of Max Reader's band. <laughs> I think we did the little Wizard of Oz thing with the tornado. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we both went the same way. Right. We must be related. Hey! <laughs> All right, so we'll make our overall list. So, okay. we have Nolase. Nala Obviously you said wizard, I said knowledge cleric. I would probably go with wizard. So, okay, so we can go I think I'm going to go wizard that. on that. So wizard on that. I don't expect to win all of these. Please don't win <laughs> all of these, okay? No, 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 no. There's some I very much disagree with. <laughs> <laughs> there are some where I am, I am oh. going to fight for mine. <laughs> Though I do, I do think we managed to cover all the classes in this, though, so that's great. Oh, yeah, I think that's awesome. Yeah, that's no, it's good. And it, we should have a diversity of opinions. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got a different interpretation of these characters. If you have a different interpretation, please leave it in the comments down below. Yes. And please be kind. This is our first yes. one. Please be so kind. This is our first one. Yeah. We're working it all out. Hopefully I edited out a lot of the mistakes. But we're, we're, we're hoping you enjoy it and give constructive criticism if you're going to give criticism. Because if you don't, Let's just be respectful I will and find kind. it. No. <laughs> Let's be respectful. Yes, and be, kind. Be, be respectful. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, oh there we go. <laughs> We're talking about earlier how it's really hard to do a heart with your hands. Anyway, Rampart. So I said Paladin, you which said Paladin. was a like shot of the dark, and I didn't know if it would work. I like. No, no. I really, I love where you're coming from yeah. with Paladin. I, I, I really yeah. like your explanation for it. I think Inquisitive Rogue is good if there was, like, like a, I'd have to look at I Paladin's in, subclasses. I, I think Inquisitive Rogue is better, though. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm saying Paladin because of his... I I, guess, I looked at all... I think I looked at all of these because of their ideology. Right, and, not and that's good. That's a really good their... way. Again, as I said, I think we capture two different aspects of the Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's perfect. Yeah. Um, okay, I mean, so, if we were exactly the same, this would be really boring. It would so. be very boring, right? Uh, but yeah, no, I think I think uh, yours is actually better, so I think we're, yeah. we'll go with yours. We'll go with Inquisitive Rogue, but I'd have to, I'm gonna have to look at Paladin subclasses because the only ones I can think of right now are Oath of Devotion, Oath of Vengeance, and Oathbreaker, and none of those really sound like him besides Oath of Devotion, but that's typically good. So yeah, I'd have so. to look into it and see because it's an interesting idea. Crosshair. Okay, so I said Ranger, and you said I said Scout Rogue. I think most of the reason I went rogue is probably that's evil. That's like, you know? but that's like really similar. Like rogue is very almost similar. the like evil version. The thing you have to understand Rangers. with D and D classes sometimes is that there is legitimately crossover. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you want to play a fighter? Okay, now you're a, uh, now you're a fighter. You know, now you've got magic. So you're oh, and then there's a blade singer wizard. They also do that. You know, it's like yeah, so. there's a there's convergences there. I don't think a scout rogue is very similar to a hunter ranger or whatever. I would say ranger feels a little bit better, though. Well, maybe. I, I don't know. Rogues are very stealthy. And he, he's yeah. pretty stealthy. He's kind of an assassin. I yeah, might, I, I might I actually th- say assassin no. rogue. Okay. Well, then, yeah. Let's we do assassin rogue. We'll do assassin we'll do rogue assassin for rogue. him. Then Echo. 
you also said sorcerer. Yeah, I said sorcerer. So we I can, think, yeah, we, we really we agree on sorcerer. Yeah, we agreed on that. We'll throw a clockwork soul in there too. Yeah. So all right, then tech we agreed he was an uh, Art, artificer. 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 How are we going to pronounce it? Doesn't matter. He likes to make artisanal <laughs> bread. Uh, <laughs> every time I say it, and rye. every time I say it, I think it's an artisanal <laughs> instead of artisanal. artificer. <laughs> all right. So yeah, we agreed on tech. We agreed on records. We agreed on record, barbarian, barbarian, battle rager. Yeah. And we agreed sense. on hunter, ranger. That was the most obvious yeah, one. That one yeah. uh, so with I had tech and, and hunter with like Omega, that one I am going to agree on druid with you. Really? I think I'm going to agree on druid, or maybe a different ranger subclass. Because I get the whole being in tune with nature. Yeah. I'm not sure because again the defining thing about druids is that they are basically priests of the old faith mm -hmm. and they can turn into animals they can wild shape so oh, that's true so yeah and maybe she can't not, do that no, then let's not, if that's a big tenet of the I would druid, say if there was like maybe maybe and I'm, I'm sorry to all the Wookiees in the audience if, if one of them was a Wookiee mm -hmm. and was like really in tune with nature and all of that maybe I'd be like okay we'll do a druid you know or something yeah, because I could see like their sh their shamans being druid. Right, like, I could see yeah. that being a whole wild shape thing. That seems yeah. very feasible. Yeah. But yeah, so let's. I think we'll just go general ranger. Yeah, let's just do. We'll, yeah, we'll do ranger. General and, ranger. Yeah, we'll do the ranger. Yeah. I, yeah, so. and I didn't even think about it. I think I was also thinking I don't want to double them up or anything. Yeah, but and some I of them I have anything. a couple of times. Yeah. I usually went with different subclass, but I was like. Hunter and, and Omega are very, very is, similar. Is that why you went skills. with subclasses? Is because you knew you were going to have... Yes. Okay. That is part of the reason I went. But also I was like, well, spe some more specificity is going to be good. Okay. Um, all right, then Sid. Rogue. We agreed on Rogue. Yeah, we agreed on Rogue. Mastermind Rogue. And I think Fee, we both Fee, agreed on Fee, we agreed Bard. Bard. I went College of Lore, just because mm -hmm. that makes the most sense. And then Hemlock. Hemlock. You went Warlock. I went College of Whispers Bard. What do you think? Because I, de I definitely think Hemlock... I don't find him that intimidating or... I find him kind of terrifying. So, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's that, okay. Yeah, because that, that that's, whole... That's intimidation. He does intimidate them, that, he it's uses archetype... leverage to intimidate. Yeah, sorry. It's that archetype or that stereotype of the kid, the quiet kid in the corner, mm -hmm. who is like, you're going to commit a murder, aren't you? You know? <laughs> It's that kind of thing. I feel like he's that kind of person. Where is the serial killer class in uh, <laughs> d, &D? <laughs> Assassin Rogue. Assassin Rogue. <laughs> Assassin Rogue. That's what he should be. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I definitely think there's an intimidation there. I like Warlock in terms of ideology, though. Yeah. But I'm not sure what he's made a pact with. I mean, obviously there's... I was about to say there's no demons in Star Wars, and then I remembered a few things. But there's there's no demons in this series, <laughs> or like <laughs> Archfey or Elvish Horrors or whatever. So there's there's none of that. Mm -hmm. So who would he have made a deal with? Is it like the Empire is a demon, or? I mean, I guess I think I was thinking that he made a deal with Palpatine, and Palpatine being like a. That's, no, I mean, that's kind of interesting. Like the Dark Lord, like Sauron or whatever. Yeah. Okay, that's, I, but, that's an interesting idea. I mean, idea. he's not really. Yeah. I mean, he's no Plagueis the Wild. No. I'm just kidding. But... <laughs> Have you ever heard of Robert? He's no Robin Plagueis. All right, but no, I'm okay with it not being Warlock. Like, that okay. was, I was just like, I don't know what to put here. So, I put so do we want to agree on Bard, or do we want to go, like, Rogue? Do we, do we want to go Assassin Rogue? I think we want to go Bard, because he likes being around people, whereas yeah. Rogues don't. Rogues don't. Rogues are like, very bards like, need people. Yeah. Rogues do their own thing, and right. and he's much more. He has like a team of people that I do his bidding. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, no, no, very much so. Yeah, he's got he other is. people on his side. He's got an say He's got all these other people. Yeah. Who are in Mount Tantus with him, doing all of these horrible experiments. Mm -hmm. So he's got to be charismatic in some way. Yeah. So yeah, I think College of Whispers Bard will agree on that. Well, there you go. And that was that, that was the Bad Batch, all classified. Mm. Subscribe to the channel. There the will channel. be much more of this uh, coming very, very soon. Plan to film a few more very soon. And uh, if you have any thoughts, uh, preferably nice thoughts, constructive thoughts, pop them in the comments down below. We're also on Twitter under Fray Girl, and um, 
you can catch more of my stuff on Instagram at Gotham underscore Oracle. TikTok is Gotham dot Oracle. And yeah. And yes, we have tons of shorts on Corgis. <laughs> Tons so, of them. I'm sure that's why probably why you subscribe. But uh, but yeah. Hopefully you like D and D as well. If you like this and let us know if there's a fandom you want us yes, to. Yes, we're taking suggestions. Classify. Pop in the comments down below. I am SHDU Studios uh, here on YouTube. I do short films, some D and D stuff, and some other nerdy stuff, uh, as well as music. Yeah, and then I'm Liam Cunningham on Instagram as well, and I'm with her pretty often. So <laughs> <laughs> so you'll probably catch me on there too. Uh, we're also on a couple of podcasts with Tessa Sterling and uh, what's Tiber it? Cave Productions. And Tiber Cave Productions. So you can catch us there as well. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time on Classified. Classified. I mean, we'll have a couple seconds. I'm not saying. Yeah. Padding. We call it padding. Is that good? Is my hair good? <laughs> it's fine. And then we could also use this as a, you know, if we want to do it at the end as a blooper thing or whatever. Yeah. Classify me. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> yes. All right. Three.